Who's next? <laughs> hmm? I told you. Hey, my friend, Jew. with all my respect, yeah. I told you, this is not It is what it is. I've lost more than anybody else that you've seen step in this room. I've taken more hills and more losses than anybody that is going to step in this room. Coming from a small city, you know, some of us, we may have big dreams, but because of where we come from, we feel like we're bound or shackled to that, that what we were born into, that's what it has to be for us for the rest of our life. But whatever your dreams and aspirations are, you can achieve those, you can be that. Me, I've done one thing my whole life, and that's fight. And so, this is something I'm bred to do. This isn't a hobby for me. This isn't something that I endeavor in and out of. This is something that I've done my whole life, day in and day out, rain, sleet, or snow, ups or downs, I've been in the gym. So there's no substitute for, for working on your craft. And I've worked on the same craft my whole life. You still speak to your daughter? Yeah, I still speak to her. We still talk, you know, we have a plan. We, got, we had a mission put together on what we are gonna accomplish and what we are gonna get. You know, we check in from time to time go back over it. It's premier boxing champions as Caleb Plant gets set to take on Zoltan Sarah. Our Corona tail of the tape. Sarah seven years older than Plant. Plant with the height and reach advantage. Scheduled for six rounds in the super middleweight division. Yvonne Goulet, our referee. A look at 23-year-old Caleb Sweethands Plant. Tennessee native, record of 8-0, 7 via knockout, taking on 30-year-old Zoltan Sarah from Budapest, Hungary. Caleb Plant has knocked out his last six opponents, four of the six in the first round. In fact, Plant's eight professional bouts have got a total of only 16 rounds. Oh, a big right by Plant. He stuns Sarah, and down goes Sarah. He's just fighting on heart. Oh, down he goes again. Shaking his head no towards his corner. Three, four, five, six, they should seven, stop it. The referee needs to stop it now. You can tell he's, you know, leading in with his head, and uh, Caleb Plant's going to tee off on him again. Round of the three knockdown rule is in effect. Sarah has gone down twice in this first round. Oh! Down again, and that will do it. So he flew nine hours from Budapest, Hungary on Thursday, and he lasts just over two minutes. You know, Kenny, it wouldn't have mattered what time he got here or what day he got here. He was completely outclassed and outmatched tonight. But, you know, just another step up in the natural progression for Caleb Plant. Um, you know, definitely time for him to move up his level of opposition now as he is uh, running through his first nine fights. And he needs to start going some rounds so he can really progress in the uh, professional ranks. You know, what can you get out of fights like this eventually as you continue to want to move forward, though? Maybe you can finish him all in one or two rounds. I don't know. Uh, well, you know, at some point, We'll be at the world championship level, so of course that'll be a little bit harder. But until then, I'm going to keep being the, hopefully being the guys that they put in front of me and working hard every day and, you know, just doing the best I can. Pues a ver la vida diferente, ¿no? A ver la vida ya de, 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 de diferente manera a un niño, ¿no? Quizás a lo mejor no tuve la infancia que cualquier niño puede tener o tiene, pero pues la verdad es que me siento muy contento porque eh, yo siento que yo no soy normal. Y no vine a ser normal a, a este mundo, vine a ser eh, eh, esto que estoy haciendo y, y siempre Dios sabe por qué hace las cosas. Pues para cuando estás, cuando, estás, cuando estás chico, obviamente ya tienes tus amigos en la escuela, tienes tus amigos ahí y es muy difícil, ¿no? Y este, te, echan, te echan carrillo otra vez, volver a darles una chinga a todos. Es muy difícil, pero, pero aprendes mucho. Empiezas a a poder estar en cualquier lado o moverte o, 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 o hacer cualquier cosa y, y ya no se te hace difícil. Mira, que está bien, que no, que está bien, que no, de los entorno para arriba, yo quiero una plenipia, escúchame, cuídate, listos, vámonos. Alvarez, a budding star in Mexico, is already in the Guinness Book of World Records. He and six brothers appeared on the same card recently in a fight. 
Three brothers making their debuts lost. There's a lot of excitement about Saul Alvarez's first appearance here in the United States. And as we mentioned, the official record, 31-0-1 with 23 knockouts. He says that it really should be 44-0-1 with 33 knockouts. That's pretty good for a 19-year-old. And as he said when we asked him at the meeting why he didn't have a you know longer amateur career, he said there's not a good amateur program in Mexico. Jose Miguel Cotto, as you can see, is a body puncher. Hard, workmanlike fighter. Regarded as a really good test tonight for Alvarez. Eric Gomez, the matchmaker at Golden Boy. Golden Boy will handle American promotion for Alvarez, at least right now. And uh, he seemed to feel as though Cotto was exactly the right kind of sturdy, difficult. But So Alvarez makes it out of the round, although he was in serious trouble with Welcome. over a minute to go. This is uh, part of a process of a number of promoters looking for the next Mexican or Mexican-American star because there is so much interest in boxing in those communities. Uh, De La Hoya retired, Barrera and Morales really gone. Uh, Marquez, the two Marquezes toward the end of their career. Um, and here is a kid who has been uh, picked out uh, to watch. Miguel, but they, they very few words but you know between them about trying to give each other advice when they're trying they train totally separate go past each other never interfere with each other same. good counter right hand up and under from uh, uh, alvarez and cotto's glove touched the canvas and alvarez has just evened up the knockdown on the scorecard he's trying to load it up a little bit right there hard right hands up and under and the body shot another well-placed uppercut with the left hand that was brilliant precise punching by the 19 year old hard left hook by alvarez i think what's emerging here emmanuel what we're seeing from this 19 year old is that he has unusual athletic coordination for boxing and Very great coordinate. timing yes great, great timing for when to deliver the shots mm -hmm. and that's what gives him what he thinks is the freshness to come on and fight a guy like Alvarez. But Alvarez is very sharp, very crisp, and punching with full authority and crispness. Alvarez landed 17 punches in the last minute of round number five, and now, as the last minute of round six arrives, he heats it up again. Now, just look how almost clinical Alvarez is here, trying to break down Cotto on the ropes. You don't expect to use clinical as an adjective for a 19-year-old fighter, <laughs> but he is. If there ever, if we've ever seen a, a young Tyro uh, with a chance to be something, we're seeing one now. Beautiful right hand right over the top. Tremendous quickness on that right hand. Cotto seems to be buzzed. Cotto keeping his hands up. Not really throwing back. Alvarez targeting right hand shots. Targeting right hand shots. Tony Weeks looking, looking. How much punishment does Tony Weeks want to allow Jose Miguel Cotto to take? Cotto's got to start punching back, otherwise this fight will He's be He's throwing stopped. back, but without any velocity. Alvarez is teeing off, and Tony Weeks is going to stop it right there. They were just above us, and you could see Tony Weeks' mind working as he watched and watched and waited and finally saw the moment. Maybe we have seen a piece of the future. That was great stuff. A lot of you live believable lives, and you've accomplished believable things. But you see, when I sat out on this, I promised myself that I was going to run this all the way to the top, where I had no problem crashing and burning and dying on the way. So when I set out, I set out to live an unbelievable life and accomplish unbelievable things. So I don't need you guys to believe in me when I say what I say. Matter of fact, I want you to keep doing what you're doing and keep not believing in me. Because you're the very reason that I'm here. Again, I don't need you guys to believe in me. I've been doing it my whole life. I don't want to die. We all go through things in life that strip us down to like the bare minimum and forces you to have to rebuild yourself. And I just feel like after so many times of having to rebuild myself back up and you know, just the 
through that, I just feel like I'm unstoppable. As a professional, he's undefeated. 16 wins, 10 of those coming my way of knockouts. Fighting and representing Nashville, Tennessee. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the best rising, Kayla Sweetheart. What happens like when the going gets tough is basically what you're asking, right? Like, like the trailer I grew up in with no heat and air, like, like when we didn't have running water, or, you know, when my daughter passed away, my arms, I had a barrier, stuff like that, right? Like when the going gets tough, do the tough get going? Like that, like, like my daughter passed away one week on Thursday and I'm back in the gym the following, following week on Thursday. A month later, you know, I'm on ESPN and I put some on, on, on Sports Center, like that kind of stuff. Just because I ain't had to sit down and, and trade with somebody, for what? Have I had to yet? So do I have I needed to yet? No. So why do that? Because because some people at home on the couch eating potato chips want me to. I made a promise to my daughter. I promised her I'd be a world champion. I told her not only that I would win it, but of course I would bring it to her. I plan on keeping that promise. I haven't fought in a year. I'm coming off a broke hand and hand surgery with no chin-up fight. We gave that man a stay busy fight. All the odds were stacked against me, and I still came out on top. I come from the very bottom. I showed the world that no matter where you're from, and no matter what you go through, no matter what you're born into, that you're not bound to shackle to that, that you can go through anything and come out the other side. Y'all was right from the beginning. That man is a boogeyman. The problem was is he ain't the boogeyman. I'm the boogeyman. Nello is the golden boy first because he can fight his ever-loving ass off. When he was a teenager, he was a YouTube sensation playing to packed houses in Mexico there to watch him beat up grown men. Now, over a decade later, he's outboxing the rangiest and cagiest and outfighting the roughest and toughest in the whole wide world. Tremendous right hand shot by Canelo. Canelo can't miss. The curtains are closing. Alvarez landing everything. This is target practice. There's a perfect straight right hand. What a performance by Canelo Alvarez. Right hand to Oh, that was remarkable. Canelo's left triple G has it in this round. Canelo throwing and throwing. It's rock and sock and robots right now. Yes, sir. Now a fight is broken up for sure. Viva Mexico, cabrones! First punch from Canelo is an uppercut. Another jab from Saunders. Carl, how much different do you notice Canelo's style changes when he fights the southpaw? Straight right hand connects for Canelo. The crowd roars. And he said Canelo is just relentless. He's got to concentrate constantly, but these, these big shots from Canelo. He's not really. Oh, there's a right hand that moves him back. Yeah, these are heavy blows from Canelo. He's putting lots into these shots. Billy Joe saying, these aren't bothering me, I'm okay. But trust me, we can see and hear these shots. They're heavy. Just missing with that uppercut. You hear the crowd's reaction. And that's the punch that Canelo is barely missing. That's the fourth big uppercut that just missed the chin of Billy Joe Saunders. Oh, nice left hook from Saunders. He's always in position to punch. This is what I want to see more from Saunders. Saunders doing the job defensively and caught him with a quick short hook on the inside. Good catch and counter by Saunders right there. Saunders shook it off. Sticks his tongue out right now. That's a Tyson Fury move. Well, this is the mind games. You see at the start of the round, his arms up, playing to the crowd. And you look. see Canelo landing big shots if he's here. And look, the, the, the right eye of Saunders is swelling up. Canelo rallying his troops here at AT&T Stadium. And this is what Canelo does to opponents. He breaks down opponents, opponents and makes them weary of the shots that are coming their way. He's like a matador. Well, that's the power from Canelo. Billy says he's OK, but this is a bad moment for him in this fight. Yeah, Billy Joe needs to hear this bell here, get to the corner and regroup. Nice left uppercut from Cano. This is his best round. Oh. 
So perhaps order has been restored if you're a Canelo Alvarez fan. Canelo acting like he's already knocked him out. And it is over. They have stopped the fight. They have stopped the fight. It is over. Canelo gets the knockout win. I'm not sure what happened to the corner of Saunders. Nevertheless, the pound for pound king with another win in the Lone Star State. That's it from Dallas, Texas. We broke the records tonight. Canelo Alvarez adds another belt to unify it again to move on to undisputed. Billy Joe Saunders brave, did everything he could. But tonight belongs to Canelo Alvarez. And the night we'll never forget. Sitting there, I just got this really like hot, warm, overwhelming feeling in my whole body. And it like kind of took the breath out of me for a second and I started tearing up and I, I didn't even know what was going on. My dad's like, are you okay? I was like, dad. I just got this feeling in my heart that I know for sure that Caleb, he's gonna win. He's gonna be, he's gonna be a world champion. He's a good boxer. He's a good move. He have a good moves. Uh, he's had fans, good job. But uh, I have a lot of experience, so I'm ready. do anything he wants. He can place the punches anywhere oh. he wants. Be something different. You want to be something different. I promise you. You will see. You want to be something different. You know in this level. You know in this level. You want to see? You want to You want to see? You want to see? You want to see? Okay. I don't tell me. And fight fans joining us around the world. The time for talk is over. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. It's showtime! You keep laughing, motherfucker, because you know when you're going to find out? Real soon. And you know when you're going to find out? The same time everybody else found out. And you know when that was? You know when they found out? When it was too late, that's when they found out. And that's exactly when you're going to find out. When I take something personal, for me, it's, it's even better. Because my mind is strong. Uh, I train like more hard than usually. I'm going to be in the ring that, that night and, and thinking about what happened. I'm not here to just sit all quiet and hand over his belt and ride off into the sunset like... That's not why I'm here.